a pen with a soothing sand glass, a notebook that looks like a soft slice of cheese, and a pencil sharpener with a bright spring bird? Our new collection of creative school supplies will help you reduce your stress in class. School supply wars are in full swing. Students can't share a marker again. Apparently, this is caused by the stress. And Miss Smith is never stressed out. She has special stress-relieving school supplies. She can unleash all of her negative emotions on a soft notebook cover. We will need some rhombus-shaped makeup sponges. Cut them in half to get triangles. And paint them with acrylic paint using a brush. Let them dry and attach soft triangles to a notebook with a hard cover. Interchange the colors. Cover the entire surface as far as possible. In addition to this, the teacher is fond of looking at the sand in her pink egg timer pen. But now it is time to shift her attention away from it and calm the girls down. Miss Smith is a true peacemaker. She hurries up to the girls with her stress-relieving stuff. The curly Sue gets a soft notebook with sponges on the cover. And Miss Smith distracts the blue-eyed girl using an unusual pen with a sand glass. Cut a pen with a heated knife. Attach an egg timer with colored sand to the top part of the pen. Decorate the joining chenille stem of appropriate color. Miss Smith's plan works well. The girls forget about their fight at once. They do want to be soft and calm with the spongy notebook and the soothing pen. The marker war is over. Our teacher doesn't have any space left in her notebook. Bummer! You have too many wise thoughts, Miss Smith, and the notebook can't cope with all of them. But don't worry, we have made a cheese notebook with a funny mouse for you. Cut bath sponges so that you only have the yellow spongy layer left. Cut two identical triangle sponges using a template. Trace the same template on a piece of yellow felt to make two triangles. Leave a little gap between them. Cut out and hot glue a stack of paper triangles inside. Hot glue the sponges to both sides of the felt. Draw a mouse silhouette on a piece of pink felt. Cut it out. Attach a thin rope so that it looks like a tail. Draw the details with a black marker. Use the tail as a bookmark. Miss Smith really likes her new notebook. All of her wise quotes and sayings will be safely kept in it. And the mouse on the cover will guard all of her secrets. All pens on the table must have declared a boycott. Whichever pen I take, it refuses to write. What the heck is it? The blue-eyed girl is on the edge already, but Miss Smith comes to the rescue. She has a weird long pen in her hands. Take a plug and a refill out of a pen. Knead some soft clay and wrap it around the refill. Roll it between your palms and stretch it out a bit. Make little balls from the soft clay of a different color and attach them to the pen. Let the clay dry. Redhead manages to snatch the pen out quicker than her friend. These school supplies are so funny. You may twist and bend the tail however you want. Moreover, when the pen writes, it shakes in a funny way right in front of the blue-eyed girl's nose. Redhead shouldn't have teased her friend. The blue-eyed girl might see red. It's great that Redhead's got a soothing thing in her pencil case. It's not antidepressant pills. It's an eraser with a mini lava lamp. Add green coloring to water. 
Fill an empty Tic Tac box with vegetable oil. Take a needle off a syringe and fill it with the colored water. Dip it into the oil. Attach the lid to the box with super glue. Fasten the opening flap in the same way. Trim a colorful eraser to fit the size of the box and attach it to the bottom using super glue. My friend is mesmerized by the weird lava lamp. She keeps turning the box in her hands. And the most important thing is that there is a real eraser glued to the back side of the lava lamp. And we can erase a mistake at any time. The pencils can't stand my pressure during my art class. Namby Pambies, why do they keep breaking all the time? But my friend tries to calm me down. She lets a cute bird pencil sharpener out of the cage. Trace a pencil sharpener on a colorful beauty blender. Cut out a hole of the needed size and hot glue the sharpener in it. Decorate the pointy end of the sponge with a pom-pom. Hot glue feather wings to the sides and hot glue a tail out of the decorative feathers to the base of the sharpener. Draw eyes and a beak with a black marker. Color the details with a white marker. All my anger at the pencils start fading away when I get a school supply like this. I use the soft sharpener to make my pencil sharp again. I can come back to my drawing. Except that I don't want to hold a hard pencil after using the soft sharpener. I will try to make a regular pencil soft to touch. Wind a yellow chenille stem around a regular pencil creating a spiral pattern. Fasten it with hot glue. Coil the purple chenille stem in between the gaps. Remove the metallic metal end of the eraser and attach a fluffy pink pom-pom. Spiral the blue Chanel stem around another pencil. Shape it into a heart at the end and hot glue a pink heart of a smaller size inside the blue one. Make some pink accents all over the pencil. I've done it! My friend and I have got soft and bright pencils. They look more like magic wands from the fairy tale world. It's exactly what we need in a boring class. The blue-eyed girl's hair always gets into her eyes. It can spoil her eyesight. It's great that I have a new invention. A pen with a hair twister. Take a plug out of a regular ballpoint pen. Cut off one end of a hair twister and hot glue to the barrel of the pen. Cover the joining with decorative tape. This pen and hair accessory combination makes us laugh during the entire class. Firstly, the twister keeps shaking in a funny way while writing with a pen. Secondly, you can bend it however you want as the wire inside lets you shape it in any direction. And finally, the hair twister can perform its main function, which is putting your hair together so that it doesn't get into your eyes. Except that I will have to find another pen. I am not able to take notes holding the pen in my hair and in my hand at the same time. My friend keeps moving her new folder in her hands during the whole class. What is that? It seems a butterfly has settled on her folder. Cover a piece of white cardboard with double-sided tape. Attach a yellow foam rubber sheet to it. Draw a butterfly silhouette on the cardboard side. Make a semicircle strip on the body. Cut it out. Attach a small button to a coin. Put the detail into the hole on the butterfly and attach one more coin to the other side. Decorate the mechanism with a shiny foam rubber flower. 
Attach the butterfly to the folder using double-sided foam tape. Make a pattern on the wings with the shiny foam rubber sheet. Additionally, decorate the folder with the yellow foam rubber flowers. Spring has already come to the Curly Sue. Butterflies and flowers have settled on her school supplies, but Miss Smith notices her students' playful mood as well. She takes away the folder, and the butterfly hypnotic effect catches her immediately. Enchanted, Miss Smith forgets about everything. Apparently, it's the end of the class. Did you like our stress-relieving school supplies? Then write in your comments what is the best thing to calm you down in class. A notebook made out of sponges? A pencil wrapped in fluffy wire? Or a teacher who was distracted and forgot about your homework? Be sure to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss the most interesting stuff on the Troom Troom channel.